It's Brave Shadow here, and today I got some news for you. So, starting off, Microsoft has some leaked images that are now on the interwebs. First off, these images, I will post them right here, as you can see, have a whole bunch of scribblish all over them. But if you decode this, because it is uh, Estro. I am probably butchering the name so much. Estro. Estrick. I don't know. Estro. Man. It's some kind of coding language that's totally whack. Let's just say that. It's totally whack programming language. But if you decode it, it makes some perfect. Well, readable English. Okay, let's just say that. So, first off, the first one says Storm Clouds. Hmm. Clouds, Cloud Gaming. Hmm. Two, More Than Now. Well, that's very specific. Third one, well, third one, Deep Computing. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Fourth one is the one that surprises me the most, which it says Pentaflops over Teraflops. Now, if you know how much a Pentaflop is, let me just tell you now, a Pentaflop is a thousand teraflops. If it's even cracking out one pentaflop, that is a major leap in computing power. Not to mention, there's been other things that have gone definitely over one pentaflop. Now, if you know the PlayStation 3, obviously you do, because you are a gamer. I mean, if you weren't a gamer, you wouldn't be watching this. But if you know the PlayStation 3 and a program that was running on it from 2000. 7 to, I believe, late 2012. It's called Folding at Home. With this, you help, uh, I think, some university, I want to say like Hartford or Stanford, some university of some sort, helping them compute and fold proteins to find cures to diseases. Now, over the whole span of these years, it went well over 10 pentaflops. Now, not 10 pentaflops solely on the PlayStation 3, sadly, maybe like one or two or maybe even three pentaflops alone on the PlayStation 3, but this is also including other computers. Now, I was saying that this isn't new. For some people, it may be new, but this isn't new to everyone. Also, if with all these uh, cards, I guess, these pictures, it really seems like they're going towards cloud gaming because you know, you got the deep computing and storm clouds and more than now and the pentaflops because when you're gaming in the cloud, it takes more uh, processing power. And if everybody, let's say on the next gen consoles, are streaming this stuff from the cloud, just like the people on the PlayStation 3 now who were streaming the information across through folding at home, well, it's easy to say that it'll definitely go over some pentaflops. Now, not, not only that, Sony has been really ahead of the game, especially this coming up uh, generation. They're going to be really ahead of the game because not only do they have the floating at home working for them, you know, going well over 10 pentaflops, they have Gaikai who have been working on the cloud before anybody knew the, who the cloud, what the cloud was. Not only that, but you have NVIDIA coming out with a statement saying how the PlayStation 4's GPU is going to be better than the Xbox 720's GPU. Now, if you know NVIDIA, they are more of kind of, you know, basically, they are the top graphics card manufacturers. So having somebody really high up there saying, hey, you know, Xbox, their graphics card is not going to be as good as the PlayStation 4's, and then you have you know, Sony working on cloud gaming and cloud computing before anybody really knew about it, acquiring Gaikai who had been working with it since nobody, you know, knew about it. I mean, it's crazy. So it's like the Xbox is making progress and I'm not trying to totally bash the next gen Xbox, but it's playing a little bit of catch up. They've been too content, at least Microsoft has been too content with their current generation of consoles. Kind of what what happened with Sony with the PlayStation 3, you know, or with the PlayStation 2, they were content with it, they were doing well with it, it's the most selling, best selling console throughout gaming history, and the PlayStation 3 comes out. I feel like that's probably going to be what Microsoft's going to deal with as well, but not to the degree of what the PlayStation 3 was, because we all know how terrible that launch date, 
the launch price and the launch gains were for the PlayStation 3. They have come a long way now, but as you can see, they have definitely been learning from their mistakes and they're just being the ones to really just lead gaming right now. I mean, <clears throat> right along PCs. You know, PCs being kind of the leader right now and PlayStation being right underneath there. So not only that, also, um, they've been talking about price. Now, I'm not talking about the Xbox 720, I'm talking about the PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4, they've been talking about a price. They've been saying it's going to be a price that we all kind of understand or understood or kind of, you know, hypothesized. So, they're like, yeah, we know the price, but you don't kind of thing. But you're really close. So, me, I was thinking maybe at the most, you know, 429 and then at the least 349.99. So, 350 or 430. I don't know. It's still up in the air right now, guys, but as always, come to me. I'll get your news here at the Shadow Source. So, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tell me what you think about cloud gaming. Um, do you think it's the future of gaming, or, you know, it's just some kind of fad, like uh, the Kinect and the PlayStation Move and stuff like that? So, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Please do not try to get it all trashy down below. Um, in some of my other videos, people have been arguing, and I really don't like that. You know, here it's like, you know, peace, bro. So... I'll see you guys later. Shadow out. Game on.